Hey everyone, uh, Vols fan here from Last Regiment, and as promised, I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek at where I'm at in um, the new update. So after Stronghold 21, uh, so it's an eight day, 12 hour uh, task. So hopefully if you did the update uh, as quickly as you could, your Stronghold should be done. Um, my advice after you upgrade the Stronghold, because obviously everybody's goal is to get the Hunter's Lodge and craft uh, harpoons. That's kind of the first goal for everyone. The first thing you're going to need to do, you're, you're more than welcome to convert a building to the Hunter's Lodge. I chose a forge. So there's my Hunter's Lodge there at level one. Uh, the reason I chose a forge is because most of the things that I need to craft only take 20 minutes and I'd rather have the training centers open to have heroes being crafted constantly. But you can change a training center to a Hunter's Lodge as well. So I have my barracks as a forge and my uh, Hunter's Lodge is also a forge. That's the way I did it. Some people are doing one in one. It really depends on what your strategy is and how often you're crafting battle items. Uh, for me, as you can see here, two forges are open, nothing happening in them. All four of my TCs have something going on. TC is a training center. The first thing you're going to want to do after you update the stronghold, and I would do this before you do the Hunter's Lodge, that way you're not disappointed, is convert your food storage. So your advanced food storage converting into level one um, it's going to take some iron, but it's going to give you the capacity of 2776. I know mine says 2785, and that's because I have a farm uh, at level 1 that has a little bit of capacity. But that number 2776 is important because that is the food that, that is the amount of food that you need in order to research harpoons at the Hunter's Lodge. So that's extremely important. So in order to even do the research, so after you convert it, it's gonna take a lot of iron. After you've made that conversion, you're gonna to need to start research on it. It takes 24 hours and it's gonna cost you 2776,000 7, food. Your current capacity after upgrading the stronghold is just below that. So it's almost like the natural order of progression is to convert a food storage. And you see here, I've converted one. After I converted that, do the Hunter's Lodge, do the research. Um, if you do have VIP, which you can see that I do, my next step was to convert over a um, iron storage. So you increase your capacity of iron storage because that's going to be kind of the next limit that you're going to hit is iron. From there, what I've been working on is an advanced mine is being upgraded to level two. And then my have my advanced farm is currently being upgraded to level two as well. And the main reason for that is to increase my production. You may have a completely different strategy. If you're going to raid for food or if you need recruits, um, I don't have a problem getting recruits. If you need recruits, you might want to convert a house because that the advanced house does manufacture or generate recruits as well. I personally, that's going to be the very last thing that I do. Uh, and that's just me. But if you need to store more recruits and you need to increase your capacity of your recruits and you want to be able to produce more because you're not farming enough or you're not getting recruits from farming, that's what I would recommend you do uh, after you do the advanced storages. So just to recap, Stronghold 21, convert the Hunter's Lodge. The first thing you do after that is convert over a food storage to an advanced food storage. You need that because you need the capacity in order to research craft harpoons. And then once you have the harpoons researched, you'll see here, here's what the cost is to craft them. I would imagine most of you have an abundance of common herbs, large bones, and clean cloths. Here you can actually use them. Definitely you want to thank beta players, beta testers if you know any, because... It was originally some other items that were even more valuable. I want to say it was oil and something else, but I don't recall. But we definitely had recommended that to be changed to make it easier to craft. But you'll see there it does cost quite a bit of food and quite a bit of iron. But that's all going to come later. Right now, the importance is, is starting to get your buildings updated. Researching level two of my Hunter's Lodge isn't even on my radar right now just because I want to get the additional capacity and I want to make sure all my teammates are caught up as well. About half the Alliance has probably finished... Um, converting the Hutter's Lodge, and they've got to the ability to research the harpoons. The other half um, are still kind of progressing just based on when they did the update or if they don't have VIP, they're only able to do one building at a time. So don't be upset if you're not there yet. Um, don't get discouraged. There's plenty of time left. Everything's going to take some time. Be patient. If you have VIP, yes, you're going to get a little ahead of everybody, but if you don't, 
don't worry about it. At the end of the day, you got to make sure your capacities get caught up with the need, and then you could raid to get more iron. If you want to spend the the gems and refill your resources, by all means, you can do that. But um, definitely want to do the natural progression to get there of Stronghold, Hunter's Lodge, and then Advanced Iron Storage converted before you can research the Craft Harpoon. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely make sure you are liking um, and commenting if you have any questions, and then also really important, subscribing. We're going to have a lot more content coming out as we get into Atlantis, and if you want to be one of the first person to see, but first people to see it, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed. We have reached 50 subscribers today. Awesome job. Thank you very much. I uh, look forward to growing that number even more and posting a lot more content. Thank you guys and have a great day. Oh, and good luck in your wars. Um, if you want to take a quick peek at where Last Regiment stands, uh, there's a 200 point difference, but you'll notice they have 24 flags and we have 36. So we have an additional 12 flags, even though they do have a uh, slight advantage over us. So we're in pretty good shape uh, for this war, but hope everybody else is having um, a good war as well, unless you're a member of Respect. Um, but definitely good luck in the wars this weekend. Hope everybody gets great loot and good luck in the upcoming Atlanta summits. Thank you guys very much.